If nitrogen isn't broken, why fix it? No cool nitrogen, not that kind of fixing. For nitrogen, fixation means breaking apart molecular nitrogen, which is abundant in the atmosphere, and then adding oxygen or hydrogen to the individual nitrogen atoms. Fixation brings atmospheric nitrogen into the nitrogen cycle and makes it biologically available to living things. For example, many nitrogen-fixing bacteria and archaea live in soils, water, or plant roots. These microorganisms make the enzyme nitrogenase, which breaks the strong dinitrogen triple bond. This frees nitrogen to bond with hydrogen to form ammonia and ammonium, which the cell releases to its environment. Lightning can also break nitrogen's triple bond and directly fix nitrogen to ammonia or nitrate. Ammonia dissolved in water can take on another proton and become ammonium. In addition to natural processes, humans can synthetically fix nitrogen to ammonia using the industrial Haber-Bosch process. But unlike natural processes, Haber-Bosch requires high heat and pressure. It will be a major technical advance when people figure out how to fix nitrogen without costly energy demands. From a report published in 2021, human activities produce the same or more ammonia than all of Earth's natural ammonia production. And industrial ammonia production is rising, with an expected increase of 40% by 2050. If current trajectories continue, human activities such as Haber-Bosch, burning fossil fuels, and cultivating nitrogen-fixing crops all contribute to this increase in reactive nitrogen. Haber-Bosch fixed nitrogen is used for fertilizers, refrigerants, explosives, disinfectants, in the production of plastics, fibers, rubber, and as a next generation energy storage molecule and fuel. I bet you didn't know fixed nitrogen was in all this stuff. In addition to these beneficial products, the high amounts of human fixed nitrogen contribute to many environmental challenges. These include algal blooms, air pollution, acid rain, soil salinity, climate change, biodiversity loss, and human health hazards. This is why understanding and managing human effects on the nitrogen cycle are key to protecting health and environmental quality. Oh,